Hey guys, Slanish Devotee here again, coming back to me old fat pal Vasha Allure. Had to get back in on the on the Slanesh train. It's been a long time. I'm up against Killazit playing as Illuminor Zeras, uh, the Necron Warlord that gets resources when he heals Necron units. That's very interesting. Uh, let's see what these pl what planets are. Planum, Yvan, I like Yvan, Balas, Farin, Taris. Taris is good too. So I've got a couple of good choices for my deck, but I definitely don't have anything that I'm going to be happy with there. So we shall mulligan. And not the greatest. Soul Grinder's all right. Promotion with a Soul Grinder's all right. All right, have a good game. Let's see. Um... I've literally only got two moves for my first turn here. This is all I can do. These other things are just not good enough. Um, I feel like I want to put him onto either Taras or Yvonne, and then use that to uh, go to Taras or Yvonne. Uh, I don't want to put him on Taras. Well, no, I've got a, a Mark of Slanesh. I might be able to move him to the first planet if I need to. All right, he opens with Parasitic Scarabs. Two cost, a pocket unit, I believe this one is. A pocket fan set. It's one command, zero attack, four hit points. It's a drone. Uh, when you deploy an Ekron unit, you can reduce the cost by one, but to do so, you have to damage this unit. You have to damage the unit you're deploying, and then you discard the top card of your deck. So it's a really interesting uh, little Scarab unit, that one. Um, zero attack, so I could try and kill it. With uh, with the uh, with chandelier, I think I will put my guy on Taurus, and then I will make sure I win Taurus, and then I can mark up Slanesh down to Yvonne if I need to. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I have very few other options right now. So Soul Grinder, six cost, Elite Demon, two command, four attack, six hit points. It's really handy. For, for the full six resources is horrible, absolutely horrible. But um, I mean, I could have done the demonettes and the warp smiths, and then a promotion, uh, spread my command a little bit. But I just, uh, I, I didn't feel like it was going to do the job. So he brings in another Parasitic Scarab, which he damages, and he damages the original Scarabs in order to get um, the cost down, and then he throws a Carnivore pack into his discard pile. Now that's interesting. They can um, they can each interrupt, so his next one can be reduced by two and take two points of damage. That's very interesting. Uh, do I want to put the promotion on now? I think I will. I've got no other limited cards, and... A promotion on a Soul Grinder is always a nice little combination that can result in some nasty, nasty things. And another Parasitic Scarabs, uh, <laughs> which he goes the whole hog. He, oh no, he damages it twice and discards two more cards. <laughs> That's really interesting. Okay, um, so he took a, another point of damage on the original one, another point of damage on the new one, and two points of damage there. there. Crazy. All right. So crazy, crazy um, command there. Now, I can go to Taras if I want. Or I could go to Yvonne, but it does so it depend a bit on what he's um, putting out. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, so he... D damaged one scarab to reduce the cost of the augmented warriors by one, and then he put dynastic weaponry onto it. Uh, so that's a zero cost attachment for two uh, shields, which is good. Attached to a Necron armor unit, unit limit one. Attached unit gets plus one attack, very nice. After a unit enters play from your discard pile, put this card into play from your discard pile attached to that unit, if eligible. So that's quite an impressive little, uh, little card there. Alright, okay, uh, I'm done, so well, I'm going to go to Planet 5, I'm sure he's not surprised. Yep, cool. Oh, 
sorry, wrong button, there we go. And win my command. Gut and pillage, oh perfect, so I can drop them down to wherever they are. I can move him, that's going to be really nice. Okay. And the soul grinder will defend my warlord here a bit. I worry about him defending himself, especially here. Three attack unit there. Um, if I decided to go to Yavan to stop his command and to um, potentially bring in my Keeper of Secrets, if this guy came over, I wouldn't be able to beat that. So that's fine. And what did he get? He got three cards and four resources. So yeah, he's about three or four resources up on top of where I am. Done. Okay, I'm going to take cards. Because my deck um, cards are the fuel for my economy. So yeah, see some, some good options there. Okay. Uh, done. Now, let's see, I can get Soul Grinder onto Planet 1. Got a backlash, which is nice. So let's see, I could pay 1, pay 2, put that out, and then I can spend 4 and these 2 to get a Helldrake onto another planet, which works out fairly well. Um, yeah, and I've got a Gut and Pillage, which would be good at some point. So, okay, cool. Alright, put him on the first planet. Splintered Path Acolyte is a one cost, one command, one attack hit point. Um, you know, it's the basic one coster, but uh, instead of using it for command, I can sacrifice it to reduce the cost of a demon I am deploying by two. He's putting out an Earth Cast Technician, getting for, going for some command here. After it enters play, search the top six cards for a drone or an attachment. It's, again, your standard one coster. And he's gone searching for something. Just like me, he forgets to set his enslavement dial before he uses what he's going to use. Just, I, I'm familiar with that myself. Uh, and he found some replicating scarabs. Two cost. One attack, three hit points, exhaust the unit to remove one damage from a Necron army unit of the planet. Very straightforward. Another Apoca. So the Apoca, the cheap Apoca drones and scarabs, they're interesting little ones. Okay, so, um, 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 okay, yep, so I need another, another guy out. I'll put him here just for the heck of it. Doesn't really make a big difference. He's got a Guevesa Overseer, which is a two-cost army unit, one command, one attack, three hit points, very standard. It is a ta Astra Militarum unit in addition to being a Tau unit, so that's really quite handy. Uh, after this unit enters play, a non-Tau army unit at an adjacent planet gets at plus one attack, and another gets plus one HP, but they can't be the same one. So he puts an extra hit point onto these guys, which is good, they can re uh, reduce costs of things a bit longer. And he puts another attack onto these Augmented Warriors, which is very, very nice. So he's got two command on that planet at the moment. All right. Now, I will mark of Slanesh onto these guys. It's an attachment that, when it, when the attached unit leaves play, move an army unit you control to the planet. And I'm going to sacrifice them, which will make them leave play, to bring in my big demon, which will pull this guy over. So I am quite... Mm, he's got a lot of resources. I'm quite happy to think I should win kind of one. Okay, so he drops a Tomb Stalker. He puts in another Scarabs. So he's going to be able to get some resources fueling up over this guy. Combat action to remove damage and heal and stuff. Okay, so I get rid of him and him. To put him him with a reduced cost of four on the first planet. And then that pulls this guy over. There we go. So now I have seven command icons on this planet, so he will have to sacrifice something when I win the command struggle. 
um, I'm going to go there to guarantee that I've got that. Decaying Warrior Squad, two cost, two attack, two hit points. Oh, he's damaged them to get them in, fair enough. Uh, but he's, that's... Deploy the card from your discard barn. So if he can keep some resources coming in by healing things, he can keep them popping up and causing damage on that first planet, which is quite interesting. I reckon I can get that first planet, though. I think I can take it. And I'll trigger it and throw in an Ancient Keeper of Secrets, and I should be happy. Another Dynastic Weaponry. Oh, now that's a nice combination, isn't it? Deploy this card from your discard pile at a planet, and then that automatically gets to react and follow it to the planet as well. That's a nice little combination. Plays Vivisection. Ooh, well done. So he removes three damage and gets three resources. And he does one damage to each of my units. So he's got a lot of economy coming in. Very nice. Okay. Let's have a skull to planet one. All right. Is he going to risk going to planet one himself? No, he is not. He's going to planet four. He thought I was going to Taurus. That's fine. That's fair enough. So I will get that and trigger that. I get one resource, he gets... Oh, he's, his command is going to be hard for me. Just want to... He's got to kill something with that soul grinder. He's got something. Cool. All right. All right, let's see what combat actions he would like to take. Oh, me first. Yeah, he's getting himself another resource. Yep, yeah, really good. Right, um, I will kill that one first. Okay. Yeah, this warrior squad, he can spend a lot of resources bringing it back and causing a lot of trouble. But I do not think he is going to be able to kill me. Although, looks like they're pretty nasty. I wonder how much resources he will feed into them. Okay, um, I will do my ward next, because I want everything to be ready before he can bring it back in. Okay. Otherwise, if I swung with my Helldrake, he could have brought it back in, and it wouldn't, my Warlord wouldn't have been able to kill it. And is he going to pay straight away or not? Yeah. Man, one cost each. This, this might be too much of a combination. It really might. Oh my goodness. Uh, so they had to take a damage, and he had to hurt them. Okay. What are you going to go for? I'm going to go for them again. Ah, uh, cut and pillage. I'm going to use a backlash. Which is pretty harsh. I don't like using a backlash, but I want to really make him have to use as much as possible. Okay. And I will stay. Will he stay and let them get killed again? How many resources is he willing to push into this? I think you might want to kill off the soul grinder. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will again do one point of damage. Which he shields, okay. And he kills me, which is a pain. That's a that's a Really annoying little combination he's come up with there. <laughs> Kill it again.
And is he going to bring it back again? He's got a lot of resources, so he might as well. My goodness. I hope he mills himself. <laughs> Warlord? Oh, no. Wait, Legion Helldrake. Staying. Okay, he's still staying. All right. Is he coming back? Is he paying again? He's going to have to start killing off some of those replicating scarabs. That might be a limiting factor. He paid the full cost for it. Okay. He's going to get me. Such a nuisance. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's going to pay a lot of money to get that. It's going to have to pay a lot of money. Okay. Um, I might have to retreat. I just might have to. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to retreat. Alright. Fine, you can have it. So, next planet's a win condition for him. Not happy about that. Alright. Ah, what do I get next then? Ominous Wind would be nice. Uh, oh my gosh. I can't really afford anything decent. Hmm. Ah, yeah, it throws a royal phylactery onto the parasitic scarab, so that's perfect. After a phase begins or a combat round, remove a damage, so they can just keep reducing the costs of things. Impressive, very, very impressive. Uh, okay. I can afford that and that. It's not enough. Not even close. Man, I'm going to be done. I'm just going to be finished with. Uh... Three and two, two and four. And then neither of them are really the best. Their costs are slightly above their stats. I have them for their synergies, but I don't have anything synergistic to do with them. Um, I'll put these guys out, but I think I'm done. I think I'm going to be cracked. Really frustrating. Okay. Another overseer which means he can put some more hit points onto the uh, scarabs. There we go. Oh, but that's me. That's that's all I got. And another decaying warrior. If he's got another... Um, if he's got another one of those, those dynasty weapons, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've got to go to Planet One because he's going to win. All right, I, I think he's got me. I think it's just that simple. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I can get a good round of area effect in, but um, dang, 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 dang. All right. So it was a new phase begun, so he removes the damage from them, which also gives him a resource for the Luminous Eris. Cool. No command into there. 
and then he gets his phylactery again, and that's another resource. Whew! Okay. I've got no, oh, no, I do have a shield, so I better use it. Uh, oh, as an action, he's going to heal something. Off these guys. Right, all right. <clears throat> now, they're attack of zero. They're attack of one, but they can't attack anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of them. Their effect is annoying me. I know there is zero attack, but bugger it. Okay. He's gonna swing at me. He's gonna get the hell drake, isn't he? Yeah, one. I'm gonna area effect so I can hurt things. That's gone. So next turn he's going to be able to, to finish the job, basically. I'm a fan of uh, actually playing things. Oh, I, I forgot they were there. And wait for it. Oh, do you not? Yes, there we are. He's got another one in his... Yeah. Oh, just that combination by itself is horrific. It really is. Man. Make you kill me. I'm gonna make you do it, but let's see what you can do. Alright. It's healed for one. I hit everyone again. Sorry, I thought it was an attack. So, one, two, three. Done. Ping, ping, ping. Okay, so how do you deal with the decaying warrior squad? It's not quite swarm. It's not quite. It's not elite. Boom. There you go. Oh, man. So that's gonna that's a very interesting new thing to have to consider. I hope you got something um, new to think about out of that. I'll catch you next time. See ya.